praise does is make you believe that the ideas are okay, all we need is action. Well, that's not exactly true. It's like the saying, follow your dreams. Well, if your dreams aren't the right ones, please don't follow them. In other words, if your dream is you want to be a serial killer, it would not end well. In the same way that ideas, not ide all ideas are good. So if you fundamentally don't have a good idea, it's not going to work. The question then becomes, what is a good idea? How do you define a good idea? And it's really not that complicated. Everything we do in our organizations are, are simple. So the idea has to be, is it useful? And second, is it simple to execute? If those two things aren't there, it's not a good idea. Uh, for example, there's a lots of solutions. When, when people speak of ideas, they mean solutions. There's lots of solutions. For example, me and a bunch of people you know, throughout the country could lose a few pounds. And it's a problem. Now, if you say to us, well, really, just eat less, exercise more. It sounds great, but it's ridiculous. It's not a solution. It's not a, it's, it's, this is a bad idea only because it won't be done. So the only ideas that are good are those which are simple and can be done easily. Because if they can't be done easily, believe me, you know, uh, the reason I have gray hair is over time I found out those which things which look really easy are really hard. And those things that look hard can't be done. So if, if rookies think that, or young folks think, okay, you know, I'm going to do this impossible thing. No, it's not going to happen. You know, find the right idea. That's, what, uh, uh, that's what, where you should really go. So, I mean, we looked at, uh, for example, in our organization, uh, this, this idea of useful, uh, this is how we do it. Somebody comes to me and says, you know, I've got a project. So my first question is, is it useful? And how? And if it's not useful, it better be entertaining. And if it's not useful and it's not entertaining, there's only one basket left, and that's useless. So if we keep things that simple, it's amazing that if you apply this to all the things we do every day. For example, you folks are here. Is it useful? You have to ask that. Uh, a lot of times people come to conferences and you ask them, why did you come to this conference? Um, I came last year. That's a great reason. Is it useful? No. So, you know, we looked at philanthropy and, uh, a few years ago and said, what are those simple things without which all of the other stuff is just useless? There's only a couple things. And if you don't do those, all the uh, talk and all the fancy, you know, uh, speeches and so on are useless. And th that was we found out the real, the real issue in the world was water. So the fact, what we did was put together this, uh, it's called Skunk Works, but most people here don't, probably don't know what it is. What it is is a bunch of crazy inventors and mad scientists. We hired them. We don't care if they have a degree. We don't care if they, you know, all the fancy, you know, uh, mobs of PhDs rarely ever come up with anything good. Uh, <laughs> What we needed was people who actually have done stuff. So we got these people, and today, I, I don't, really don't like announcing stuff that is five years away. You know, we, and people announce stuff, and it's never going to happen. You know, it's just pipe dreams. We have it to a point where we can purify water cheaper than anyone. We have it working. It actually will be launched first of the year. Uh, it is the biggest project in the world because Without water, at least from what I've read, a billion people are going to die in the next 25, 30 years. The rich will just move, the poor will just die. So if you don't have water, you don't have food, and everything else, all of everything, is just nonsense. 